So I get this comment a lot of like, hey, why don't you remove the seats? You could do such a better job if you were to remove the seats. These other channels remove the seats. Why don't you remove the seats? You're not a professional if you don't remove the seats. It's not that hard to remove the seats. You, like, I'm like, man, mobile life is so much different than having a shop. And if I had a shop, I would be doing a lot of things a lot more differently just because like I can control the environment. At the, and it's not come out. I'm probably overexposed now. Let me check. Okay, we should still be good to go. Um, and it's like, if I did have an own shop, like I could, I would be offering more paint correction, more ceramic coatings, more like intense services, just because I can control my environment. But here, like right now, which is like how I am most of the time, it's just, it doesn't make, it doesn't make life any easier if I were to remove the seats when I'm mobile, in a driveway, with no garage, with the weather going left and right the entire day. And since look at this all on the ground, whatever, whatever you want to call it. What is that called, guys? Come on, help me out. You guys, help me out. Uh, but there's that, and it's falling all day as I'm working here. So like the interior is filled with that stuff, even though I, I'm, I'm gonna vacuum it again. Even though I vacuumed it, it keeps on getting in there. So this is all falling all throughout the detail. So if I had seats right there, just sitting down, guess what's gonna be on, on there? The things, and then it's under trees here, so more leaves are gonna fall. And then let's just say at some point, the lawn people come, and they want to cut the grass today. Well, guess what? The seats are going to be right there. I can't use the garage because uh, there's stuff in there. Like, you can't put anything in there. So, I can't storm in there if it were to begin to rain. And there are clouds over there, which you can't see because it's overexposed. But if they were to come this way and it would start raining, what would I do with the seats? Could I rush and put them back in? How bad would that be? I would be so much more inclined to, or I, the possibility of me scratching something or doing something wrong is so much more heightened because I'm in such a big rush to get the seats from the rain from the weather into here and it's like if the lawn people come guess what's gonna get dirty again the inside so it's like it's not that straightforward to say your life would be much easier if you were to just remove the seats and yes I could use a canopy if I had a bigger van I would be more inclined to bring in a canopy if I could bring one uh, but then you also have to worry like you could but then you have to worry about first of all you have to get a big enough canopy to fit the car and you and the camera to record and stuff uh, and it, that's probably gonna require two canopies um, But then you have to worry about the, the wind like right now wind is blowing so you have to make sure you're, you're securing those posts down So the wind doesn't lift it up and whack a vehicle uh, So yeah, like again if I had a shop would I be doing things differently? Yes, would I be removing seats? Yes, but at a much higher price point like if you're seeing people remove seats you better hope that they're charging that extra price to remove the seats because you literally like I'm I'm go I'm gonna have to charge more because it's more work for me, more time, and it's a more sensitive work. Meaning like I'm doing everything to spec. I'm torquing them down. I'm making sure whatever whatever. Like you need to make sure you're doing everything properly. So like there are some channels that like I don't know are they charging or, or not even that. Just like in general, are they charging the appropriate amount for all the work that they're doing? Because don't be fooled. Like those long super like 20 plus hour vehicles. They're not the most profitable if you don't know what you're doing. Like it looks cool for camera, 20 hour plus detail, but that doesn't always necessarily mean it's a lot of money. Now I'm not knocking any channel. I'm just saying like, just with anything like, it doesn't, it's not always what it seems just because it looks cool. That's all I'm saying. Not, not trying to ding anyone. Hopefully this helped you in understanding why I don't remove seats and why I don't uh, really tell others to remove seats, especially if they're mobile. And because like, it's also a big liability. Like here in America, remember, you can be sued at any time by anyone for anything. That's very important to note. The sun then came out again. That's important to note because, you know, liability issues. Like, you know, it's always whoever touched the car last is the one at fault for the problem. That's just typically how it goes. You know, like if someone washes a vehicle, then the next day the car's TPMS sensor comes on their tire pressure monitoring or monitor system comes on since the last person that worked on the car was a detailer well the detailer did something to lower that, that tire pressure right and that's just typically how it goes if someone cleans the engine then the next day the engine light comes on well the detailer must have done something because before the detailer came the engine was running perfectly fine with no code uh, so just imagine like with you putting in seats and the, and uh, uh, a center comes on. Well, the last person that did anything to the car was a deed setter. Let me go hit him up. Let me let me see if he did anything. Let me see if he's gonna cover this bill if it comes in. And so it just another. It's also like a liability thing. Uh, again, not it's not difficult to remove the seat. It's really not. It's just liability sick. It's the same way why the like you know 
AT&T is going to put the cones next to the vehicle to, to, to give, uh, you know, oncoming traffic just that extra protection. Like, hey, a car is right here. Watch out. Don't hit me. It's the reason why, like, when you're at a construction site, you can't walk and talk at the same time or you can't pick up your phone. It's just an extra added protection of like, hey, it's, you know, we just want to make sure that we're safe and that we're not we're decreasing the liability as much as we can with anything. So that's why hopefully that helped again if i had a shop i don't know if i'd still i don't know if i'd offer like you know removing seats still just because that's just i just don't want to do that uh but if i would i'd be more inclined to and i would charge accordingly and stuff like that so yeah mobile is being different than like having a shop uh eventually i don't know might move into a shop um but as of now staying mobile and it's cool just driving around seeing different areas other than like always being in the same spot but I, you know it's still like, man, it would be cool for people to come to you other than you driving around the city. Pros and cons to all. But if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those down below. Like this video, subscribe, follow me on the IG, the Instagram, as I'm posting a bunch of content over there. I've done four or five giveaways now on Instagram only, so check that out. I'll see you on the next one.